A Georgetown man is fighting to try and save his historic home from being demolished by the city. He says it's all because of a code enforcement violation that wasn't fixed on time. In-depth reporter Christiana Ford looking into the issue and has what happens next. This old Victorian style home is no sight for sore eyes. When I bought it, it was the inside of the house was a wreck. Even still, this historic home on the corner of South Hamilton and East Clinton in Georgetown has been worth every penny for 72 year old Marvin Baker. It would benefit my grandchildren and then they can pass it on to somebody else. It's been 13 years of work. Some of this was water damage when I bought it, but we've worked on it, fixed it. They got it the inside. I've done it myself. Uh, Replumbed, rewired for electrical and took all the walls out, the whole nine yards, to remodel the inside of the house. Getting rid of the trash, saving the history. It's all original. And still, there's a lot more to do. 13 years is a long time to work on something. His intentions and determination are clear, that however long it takes. I'm gonna fix the outside, I can't let it go. I said, because it ain't right, to just let it go. But he just might have to, because his work in progress has been labeled a danger to the public by city officials. Georgetown's Division of Code Enforcement placing this bright orange sign on the window, condemning the property four months after bricks collapsed from his home onto his neighbor's property. I've, I've already got it fixed to where I can tire that section off. That has been, uh, it's an add-on, and it was a poor quality when they done it, but it's still done. And I bought it like that, so I want to fix it. But because there hasn't been enough progress since that happened, code enforcement and building inspectors say it's called safety concerns and is interfering with the neighboring property owner's peace. This letter says city officials are taking over, expecting to send Baker a bill for between thirty and fifty thousand dollars for the demolition of the building, hauling of debris, potential environmental remediation and dumping fees. He'll have 30 days to pay once the invoice is sent or else he'll lose his property. His 13 years of work going down the drain. I'm not okay with it. He's hired an attorney to fight to keep it. If you have a flat on a car, you don't junk it, you fix that flat. So it's got a flat. We took Mr. Baker's concerns to City Hall to try to find out more information on what he can do next to try to save his home. The mayor's office declined an interview but shared this statement. It doesn't clarify whether the home is currently being bid on by contractors for demolition, but says in part they're just following the law. After speaking to Baker's attorney, the city offered a meeting this Thursday and quote, the city hopes that the homeowner will take advantage of this opportunity and that all parties involved can come to a resolution on this matter, end quote. In Scott County, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition. And you can read the city's full response on this story at lex18.com.